Hello, my name is Dan Poitrast. I'm an engineer with Tegmart. Today I would like to talk about our 30 watt air-cooled thermoelectric generator. This is the unit right here. Now in order to operate this unit, what you do is you place it on a hot wood stove. Now in finding a location for it, you really want to find a flat spot on your wood stove. This unit wants to sit flat on the stove so the heat can transfer into it. Now I'd like to talk about a few of the accessories that can go with our 15, 30, or 45 watt generators. Alright, so I have a 12 volt adapter with a little USB connection on the back of it. Now you can plug any 12 volt adapter into this thing, any of them will work. Um, now I'm going to plug this in. And as you can see right here I have a tablet and the tablet is currently charging at the moment. Now the big thing to watch out for whenever you plug any device into this cord particularly is to make sure your fan is still spinning. If your fan stops spinning at that point in time you really want to take the load off of it or you could damage the thermoelectric generator. In addition, um, I have a smartphone here. I can plug this guy in. As you can see, this is charging as well at this point in time. All right, as I mentioned before, you do have your USB adapter on here as well. So I can plug this, if I get it the right direction, right into here. And you can see the phone is charging off this as well. So either of them work. If you don't have one of these adapters, there is one built right into the cable. All right, as you can see, I've hooked this other cable up, and this is with alligator clips, but we also have cables that can adapt straight up to lights. Um, this right here is a LVL2. We also sell these at Tegmart. And as you can see, turn this on, and it's 10 watts worth of LED light. Um, something like this, I mean, is incredibly useful if you have a cabin that's off-grid, you know, so you don't have power run out there and you need lighting at night. You can pull your power right off these, have light for your cabin. All right, what I have here is a diversion circuit hooked up to a battery, so it's charging a battery. Now, just like the other ones, you plug this cable right into the generator and then hook it up to your battery. And what you'll see here is this thing right now is flashing on and off. Whenever it's flashing on, it's sending charge to your battery. When it's off, it's allowing the thermal electric generator to recharge itself and get its power built back up with it. Now, if your stove is hot enough, it's going to stay in a constant on mode or if you have one of our bigger generators. Um, the neat thing about this is it'll allow your generator not to get burdened down. So your fan's never gonna stop with it. The circuit will ensure that happens. Now, with this battery, what you could basically do is have this battery charging during the day while you're out. And then at night, you could switch off and have your lighting system set up, running off all of the same generator. I mean, it's basically, a, that's a power supply that has multi-purposes to it. All right, a little further explanation of how the diversion circuit works. Now I have, as you can see, here's a diversion circuit right here. So there's no smoke and mirrors with this thing. I'm going to set that back down. Now I can take these two outputs and I can short them directly together. And then if you look at the generator, the fan is still spinning on it. Now if we didn't have the diversion circuit and you were to short the two outputs together, the fans would die immediately and you'd damage your unit. All right, I wanted to talk a little more about the control box here. This box employs our patent pending technology that we found in the stove light. Um, the stove light really helped us out with figuring out a lot of the challenges with thermoelectric generators. Now this box right here has a boost buck regulator in it. So I can start charging those batteries at around eight volts or so and it'll just bump up the voltage and charge the batteries. And then if this generator makes more than enough voltage to charge the batteries, it'll buck it back down to put it to the right voltage. Now, these two alligator clips you see in my hand are connected to the units. This was the one that was connected to the battery before. Now, if I take these two and short them out together, as you can see, the fan is still running right now. Now, if I had done this without that control box right there, what would have happened is the fan would have stopped running and the unit would have been destroyed. So it really, I mean, the control box really helps a lot with this unit. In addition to the accessories, another unique thing about these generators is all of them help move air. Now, the 15 watt unit, which isn't seen here, this is the 30 watt unit, can move up to 50 CFMs of air. The 30 watt unit can move up to 100 CFMs of air and the 45 watt unit also moves 100 CFMs of air.